The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby, on the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building, NG Wild in the building. My guy, welcome to the show. Well, well, what's um, happening? Today's a very dope day because we're recording this on the day that you're opening up for Uzi at the motherfucking Barclays Center. Congratulations, my brother. Appreciate it, my brother. Um, you ever been to Barclays before? Never in my life. First time? Never in my life. Would this be the biggest arena that you've done on this tour? Really do think so though. Niggas did a kill for him though, but I don't know What's how that? much bigger they that's in LA. Like where the Lakers used to play. Magic Johnson. Oh, oh. is that time. bigger than the Barclays? Okay, maybe it's bigger. It was like that, but this still like this big time, like it looked different, you know. Right. The videos I see it looked bigger. This is like the first time you've been performing in these type of arenas, right? Yes, sir. How's it been? I mean, at first I ain't gonna lie, like you'd be scared before I go on, mm -hmm. but like when I get out there. It just feel like I belong, so I be out there straight. Mm -hmm. I really be scared for no reason. Be nerd. I ain't gonna say scared. I just be ready to do it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Do you be blacking out on stage? Yeah. <laughs> in my head, it's like a movie. It's like I'm in the movie. That's how my whole life be though. Like right. it's like I'm the star in the movie, and this mm -hmm. what it's supposed to happen. Right. With this tour, like obviously this is a huge tour, right? Were you like prepared? Like, how, what was tour prep like for this for for this tour for you? See me and bro, we don't give a damn. We just I woke up and just came on tour. We ain't really prep nothing, nothing. We just go out there. No practicing in the mirror. No practicing nothing. Mm. I've been practicing for my whole life. I've been ready for this. Right, and kind of learn as you go through the tour too. Then, mm -hmm. what's like one thing you learned during the tour? Um, that's a good ass question. I just learned like. It's never enough. You got to always mm. keep going. Like, I even be, like, I really be learning more, like, watching from, bro. Mm. Just, like, more how to control the crowd and how to how to get get your point across with a good pace. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not like I'm going to be up to 30 minutes. So, like, you got to go there so them folks remember you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like that. So, I really learned, like, just that and just to be ready and go out there and show up. It's, it's once in a lifetime shit. That's fire, man. Who's been your favorite crowd so far? After time, I'll be in New York, obviously. Yeah, New and I'm York sure Philly going to be up there, too, when y'all do Philly, oh, of God. course. But um, have you, A lot you, of them would turn, though, but I thought it with Texas, though. Texas, Texas okay. Was cool. I was going to ask if you did any, if they if y'all did the Carolinas at all on this tour. They did North Carolina, but I wasn't there yet. Yeah, I had okay, some okay. shit going on. I wasn't there yet. But te you did Texas? Yeah, Texas, I did Texas, the whole Texas, Texas. Texas was hard. Okay, okay. I like right. Texas. You'll make it back home eventually to do the show. Mm -hmm. Have you been able to perform back home? Like, have you gotten, like, your Yeah, like, back home? real long and stuff, but it's, like, a lot of, like, stuff be going. Like, yeah. I really can't perform like that. Like, it'd be a lot of politics going on. I understand. Yeah. So it'd be like that. But, like, I'm good, y'all. So, y'all, don't black bother me, though. But, like, <laughs> the police be tripping, like, stuff like that. Bro. Yeah, I think it's like, you know, wherever you from. It's like with New York artists. New York artists have trouble performing in New York, but, like, out of state, they just kind of be, you know, they be, you know what I'm saying? They be okay. Yeah. It really be, like, out of outside, no. It don't even really be nothing you doing and nothing. It be what everybody else talking about you doing. You right. know what I'm saying? They see, like, like let's say, like, the like the cops see one bad comment on IG. It's not even you saying anything. Someone's saying something about you. Then they're going to be like, ah, that he might be at the show. Got to shut this bitch down. Think about that, but think <clears> about <throat> instead of IG, the uh, the city or this with the police, is this the verdict yeah. in the city, what's going on. So it'd be like that. They judge you before you even get to do yeah, your own show. It's just like a big, big ass folklore, like folk tale down there to me. Like I'd be like, it's whatever, bro. But I love the city. appreciate the city. So. Facts, man. Well, mm -hmm. congrats on this tour. You know, um... We're getting ready for this project, right? Which they told me we could talk about because I think we're going to drop this around the project. Uh, what's the name of the project? Septillion, man. Set? Septillion. Like Reptillion. Se set Sectillion. That's the brand. Right. What's, tell me about the Sec brand before we go into it. Like, what did it, what did it come from? Um, This is really like me and my bros just like came up with it tight. Okay. Like really big. Be inspo, like, I love you, I thought, but mm -hmm. I got tired of everybody saying, using his word. Mm -hmm. So we just went like that. And I got real movement back home, so it like, say that, and I look up, and it's a real live movement, like, good, positive, strong movement going on. So it be so like Set Tilling is the project. Yes, sir. Tough. Um, they also told me executive produced by Uzi. Yes, sir. Um, uh -huh. So obviously you've been with Uzi for uh, how many years now? Um, probably about four 
four? Three, four. Okay. Yeah. So with this project, right, with this being like, you know, the big one, how has Uzi, how have you and Uzi crafted this tape and what has, I guess, been his role as executive producer within the tape and kind of getting you ready for this moment? Yeah, bro, really just be on some shit. Like, I be overthinking a lot of shit. So he just, his whole approach would be like, bro, fuck it, bro. Like, you hard. Like, so when we go through shit, he'll be like, why you stop here like that? Mm. Keep going like this. Or like, just smile shit. He really just be letting me rock, though, because he know I know what the hell I'm doing. But be like little shit like that or like beat selection. Like, everybody really always praise me for my beat selection. So yeah. when he was like, because I was like, bro, what you think? What do he like, bro, you got it, bro, the beat. You know what the hell you doing. You feel me? So mm. be like that. But it really be like almost just like a older figures like that. I already got some, got what he got going. So all this input really like to help a nigga keep going with it or motivate me to feel like I know what I'm doing for mm -hmm. real. You feel me? Right. Shit like that. But yeah, like the beat selection or like produce, like what I saw off white, like he pulled that beat up specifically mm. for me. You feel me? Like I ain't no bro from Can of Paint. He like, this you right here. So like that, couple more tracks like that. Y'all gonna have to wait for the album to see that, but. You gonna hear the ones that was like he picked the beat, he influenced us on them. Could, can you tell? Like, do you think people off the rip were able to tell of like which it, ones he picked? It'd be crazy because the ones they think he picked, he didn't pick. Like mm. I already know they're gonna be because like sometimes a, a snippet to get leaked or some shit, and mm. they be like, "Oh, we know, bro, goddamn, we know, <clears> bro, <throat> pick whole time I picked, they'll he'll pick against that beat. You know what I'm saying? Right. He'll be pick some, some like real shit. off the wall shit that you would never even think to hear Uzi on, or mm -hmm. you know, and he'll and like. You'll be like, oh yeah, that's actually the one that he picked. You oh, know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's gonna be like that. I'm gonna let them know that. Then, oh, I really, that's what I want everybody to do. Try to go through and figure out which ones he, mm. you think he had the most influence on. You feel me? Right. Like that shit are the ones hard. that? Uh, Cause I know you got, you guys have like a couple on the tape together. Mm -hmm. Are the ones that he's on on the tape? Are those ones that he picked too? Then, or are those like um, different ones? We'll come to an agreement on it. Cause like we gotta ask the songs for real. Right. So it mo it most so be like with how I'm thinking about it, it be more so like I gotta come on this so they know like, boom, this is me. You feel me? Like yeah. I bring it to my world on shit. Or sometimes I go to his world. But it's so real, he love coming to my world more. Yeah. But he be want me to come to his shit to make real hits. Like it be a difference. Like shit we be talking about, like Cool shit, cool, but hits will keep you alive. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, it ain't nothing to make an ass of fire-ass songs. You get what I'm saying? Ass a cool-ass song, but it's different than making a good-ass fire song and a hit. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what most of like, be going on. I cut his word. I was about to say, like, have you been, like, learning about how to make hits more so than just making fire-ass tracks lately? Yeah, it just be more so about, about you really like feeling the beat. And he taught me a little trick that for real taught him. I don't know if he want me to put it out there, but it's like some little scientific shit to it. It's hard. It's about the time mm. or some shit. Like anything they say 333 three, three is a hit. And I can show you later off camera, like some other shit. For like, real? It's some hey, show shit. me off camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to show you. You feel me? Like it's a song that everybody knows is a hit, and that's how long it is. Like, Oh, three, 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 like three minutes and 33 seconds. That's a hit. You can't do it on purpose, though. It just got to be. You it got to be natural. It, like, you can't you just, just like, look at it and it's dead. Like, there was a little wham, bam. Like, mm. that's some little other shit. That's like some lucky shit, though. Like, some just, oh, it just so happened. But, like, right. structuring the song more so. And, like, he taught me more, like, the first shit. Like, you going to come on the song and say the hardest shit at the beginning of every time. So, you really got to use that mm. to go. Cause I rap back, like that was one of like the things I had to learn. Like I rap backwards, damn near. Like I come on and do the verse first, really, and then try to find the hook and whoop whoop. And he's like, nah, bro, you gotta when you go, just keep going and use that, cause that's the hardest shit you gonna say, and that, the hardest shit be about the most repetition too. And we just he just really had a damn three hour speech with me while we was on the tour, but shit about repetition. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So shit like that, bro. Thanks. Three, three, three. Write that down, Calvin. John, write that down. Cause bro, I'm gonna use that shit. I don't yeah. know if it's gonna work for me for OTR records the way it works for y'all, but we are gonna give it a shot. That's fine. Okay. So that's coming out. Um, oh, there's John. That's coming out in January. Mm -hmm. um, so be on the lookout for that. That's coming soon. But one of the singles we have leading up to it is a record with Baby Drill. Um, what's the name of the song with Baby Drill? Philip. Philip. Yes, sir. Fire. My boy, shout out my boy Drill, man. So um, I'm assuming y'all met in Atlanta. Um. You can say that. 
something like that. Did y'all get to make the song together? Or was this kind of like? Oh yeah, like okay. Cause I know you moving around a lot on tour, so I don't know if he sent you the song back or uh, y'all got been like, to make it together. This been like, uh, this, I did this like uh, in the process. Like I've been really working on this shit for a little minute, so this just been in the process of me just living life. And then like I got a good relationship with like new to them first, like years yeah. back. So it's like we already like tied in with them boys, like my folks and his folks. So. Mm. I really been new, little bro, like before before he was rapping for real. Mm. And he always was like, send me his shit. You feel me? So I'm like, whoop whoop. Then he took off with the shit. So I'm like, my boy turned. I knew he was gonna do it though. So it'd be like that. But I really met him first. He came to my city type shit. Yeah. He had a little show in the city. We popped out with him and shit. Cool little vibes and shit. Like we already damn near, like, you feel Locked me? Locked in, yeah. Cause with bro. Cause I've been around, been bumped. Bump shoulders with bro, like bro used to come to the city and shit, like I had bro in the city. Yeah. So it'd be like that. And we actually was in the A recording when bro was doing the, uh, when Vert was working on part of, six, part of the uh, 16. We yeah. were down there then and just in the mix, like bro, pull up, goddamn. We did a couple tracks and shit, shit was cool. Shit be real organic, like the music shit be down there, like second almost. Mm. If that makes sense. More like family first, friends yeah, first. Yeah, like, like kind of comes along naturally. Just rock, you feel me? Like, nigga, yeah. cause nigga don't just do a song with anybody. Like, a lot of people be at, like, why, why you don't do a song with a uh, buddy right here and he be woo woo woo? Mm -hmm. It don't be like that, though, cause I don't really move off shit like that. Right. Like, I don't really be on that. You move on like damn near, shit. I got damn near know you, you feel me? I know what you on, what you buy, is you faking, is it this or that? Yeah. Is what type nigga you with? Cause this shit down there, like, they show your character almost. Unless it's just some strictly, like, don't get me wrong, I do a song with Taylor Swift, but Taylor Swift <laughs> ain't out here faking, you feel yeah. me? Taylor Swift a real country girl. Yeah. Real one. You just gotta be real, whatever you talking about. Where's Taylor yeah. Swift from? I don't know where she from. She country, bro, like, where's she from? Nashville? Oh, she from Nashville? I think she from from Pennsylvania or something. Pennsylvania, yeah, 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 yeah. She like the Eagles, my team. The Eagles, your team? Yes, I thought you were talking about the Bills on Twitter. Bills ass. Bills suck, right? Hate the Bills. Look, look, look at y'all. Josh Allen, no. Bro, why, bro, me sitting up in a bar in Canada last year and watching y'all get spanked in the playoffs was crazy. Yo, and y'all worse and, and y'all worse this year than y'all were last year. A hey, five and five. I go lie, cause it was funny because I was going through like <laughs> I was going through your Twitter. Your Twitter is mad funny. And you were talking tripping. you were talking about Notre Dame, right? And you said talking about fighting Irish y'all pussy. Oh god. Like <laughs> Notre Dame is lame as hell to me. Like they get wow. all this clout and all this area. I go out there and get beat area. Yeah, and then uh, you be you be all on the college football shit. Texas, I love football. Texas, Kansas, upset alert. Yep. Colorado State on bullshit on the low. I really love college football. Oh god, I fought with the college football. You got any predictions for college football this year? My team, Oregon, in it. So okay. I feel like nah, I ain't gonna say they could both need a duck for real. So. I don't know, man. They that there's no Bo Nicks, If you listening, you upset me area, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be the same shit. Y'all go ten and one, lose to Washington. Ten and one, lose to Utah. Some crazy shit. I don't got no expectations. I feel like, um, I feel like I don't like Big Ten schools though. You why don't like Big Ten schools? Cause it, it ain't that slow. It be like it's slow. Like that ain't real. That's like that's where you go get your linemen from. Okay. They got Marvin Harrison though. He turned, but like the rest of them boy, like who paying out from Big Ten? Right. But Lyman, that's like Lyman. You want Lyman? Go to Big Ten. Mm -hmm. You want you a, a quarterback or some shit like that? Then you fuck around in Pac-12, ACC. You want skilled players? SEC. You want DBs? SEC. You feel me? You really into college football, huh? I'm real on that. That's really your shit. in South Carolina, like. It's down there like, you don't play football, you a bitch, like, growing up. It'd be Do like you play that. football as a kid? Yeah. Okay. On it. What yeah. position? Wide receiver. On okay, it. I see that. Yeah. I see that. Baby DJ, my boy. Did you ever think about going like going to college with it? Uh, I got in trouble. Oh, you got in trouble? I really was getting hurt and shit, then I got in trouble. So by, like, ninth grade, it was over. It was clipped, right? Yeah, shit what, what, Did you, like, with. tear something, sprain something? Yeah, hey, yeah, I tore my ACL, like, Damn. three times. Before and you I, were 14? Nah, I tore it once. Eighth grade. Okay. Then ninth grade, I was like, fuck this shit, I'm thugging ninth grade. Then I tried to save myself from the thugging. 
and try to come back. You got ball. hurt, so I'm like, bro, I'm thinking, bro. Fight. You tore your ACL again the second time? Yeah, I tore my ACL. T- I tore my ACL twice. Yes. Tearing it twice before you're 18 is. Oh god, like 16 over. With. I tried to come back. Nah, like, no, yeah, yeah, my yeah. people was on some shit like. Bro, you, need, you feel me? Like, you know how it be, You bro. was nice you, with it, yeah. Yeah, but I'm like, I'm getting in trouble and shit. So I'm mm-hmm. like, what was I doing if I was getting in trouble? Playing for it? Let me try again. Right. But I was too burnt that, and that shit was over with. Damn, man. So, yeah. Now you're just a college football pro. Now I'm just a college they football put you on, scout, man. Scout. I'm scouting <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> they got to put you yeah. on ESPN or some shit. I ain't going to lie. Oh, God. That's going to be part up, of the rollout. That one of my dreams. I want to go to Bay Skip Baylor. He lying. If Skip, ba- yo, if Skip Bayless is right in front really of you, what would you, what would you say to Skip Bayless right now? He's in front of you. Fucking lame. Why? I respect it though, but he just a <laughs> yes. lame because it'd be like the points you be making be dumb as hell. Like mm. you a really LeBron hater. I don't like them big Brian fan. <laughs> oh God, number one LeBron. You feel me? That's all well, I seen. My whole hey, look, life. bro. If well, music is gonna work out no matter what. But if ever down the line and you want to stop doing music and you want to become a college football scout. I get a podcast me in my home, but like I be on it like this, like me. So it'd be hard. You yeah, feel? you got to do it like Mason Cam. Yeah, they really stole my idea though. Really made me sad. When Mason I Cam it. stole your idea. Stole it, man. I don't. I Shout don't, out the camera. I don't know. I don't know if Mason Cam too. was like, oh yeah, you know what we gonna do today? Take NG Wilde's idea. They need to let me go on their show. That's the show I, I need can see to be that. on. That'll be hard. I think that'd be funny as oh, fuck, God. though. Did you watch the new episode that they did with Jack Harlow? I don't really be watching that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I watch the clips. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, I don't be there for all the, like, look. That shit, I like when they really be on there dissing and shit. Like, just funny yeah, shit. Yeah, they be wilding on there, right? But, like, I like this shit. The Paul shit cool and I, but mm-hmm. we don't really do that. But, yeah, like, shit be over a little bit. Like, right. be over. So, doing too much type shit. But other than that, though, this shit be funny. Like, I like I be watching the clips on Twitter, like, yeah. anything viral they do on the I see that. Right, type shit. Mm-hmm. Well, look, man, so we got the project on the way in January. I got to get you to this show. I don't want to keep you waiting. Uh, project on the way. Uh, new single with Baby Drill, either out now or coming soon by the time y'all see this, depending on when we drop this. But just know, go stream coming that. Coming soon, man. Um, I go screen it. Real street, nigga. Get burnt. Uh, freestyle now by the time you see this, so go run that up. Uh, before we get up out of here, my brother, aside from anything college football related, all that good <laughs> shit, anything else that people got to know, they got to be on the lookout for, where they can follow you at, all that good stuff, now's the time to let them know this camera on the right right here. Yo, man, y'all go follow me on my socials on IG at N-G-E-E-Y-L, on Twitter at Big Bad Legend, B-I-G-B-A-G Legend, man. I'm just him in the flesh. That's all you need to know, man. They call me Lizard because I be blending in. That's just all it is. Be cautious when you view me. Just be cautious. That's it. There you go, man. Well, make sure you go follow him. Go run up everything he has out now. Go run up the tape. Go run up the single with Baby Drill. Go show him some love. Go show him some support. Love is free. Support is free. on the way, man. Angie, while on the radar, we out. Pow. My God, love. Uh, well.